you know, so many times you can think that you haven't died. But there are certain blessings. And a blessing is something that God uses to empower you, anoint you, or take you to the next level. You can think that you haven't died. But if you think about it, every time your mind gets separated from life or the word, every time your emotions get separated from joy, every time your decisions get separated from wisdom, you die. And so, if you think about it, why would King David say, I encourage myself in the Lord? Because obviously, encouragement was a part of the equation for his deliverance. If it wasn't important that he encouraged himself, he would have just went through the motions and still got his promotion. But he says that I encourage myself in the Lord. Now, that shows you that you can encourage yourself in other avenues, which is dangerous. If you encourage yourself in the Lord, that means that you can encourage the fact that he, um, monster ball woman. Feel bad for the people with halitosis. That's why cancer is increasing. The toxins, the toxins, the toxicities, the toxicities that keep on coming through, the toxicities. But King David said, I encourage myself in the Lord because there are other avenues in which you can encourage yourself. Now, that's dangerous in itself. And if you think about it, there's other avenues that you could use for encouragement. And those avenues can be dangerous. It can be a wrong person. It can be a wrong thought. It can be a wrong memory. You can encourage yourself in a wrong memory. Murderers encourage yourself. Nobody has ever raped a woman that didn't encourage yourself for lust. No Gangster has ever robbed somebody that didn't encourage themselves for robbery. They had to watch certain things. They had to feed their jealousy. Oh, he think he all that. Oh, he think he all that. Let's get him. So there's an encouragement system that works for both kingdoms. Think about this. Ain't this amazing? And so King David's clarified, I encourage myself in the Lord. Because he's saying this is the location where I decided to pick for encouragement. So that I would continue in what is anointed, continue in what is righteous, continue in what is pure. Continue in what is submissive. So King David was showing you. That not only do you get encouraged. But choose what encourages you. Choose what the root system of the encouragement is. Because saints even depressed people are encouraged to be sad. <laughs> Even bitter people are encouraged to seek vengeance. Even weak people are encouraged to be enslaved. 
Even broke people are encouraged to be mad at prosperity. If you ever talk to a broke person, they always going to tell you a million scriptures as to why being broke makes them so surrendered to God. You know, I'm broke because, you know, we got star treasures in heaven. I'm broke because uh, uh, this, uh, I'm broke. I don't have nothing. There's financial demons over me because uh, this is, this is, I, I'm, I'm living a life of a true apostle. The apostles were poor. The apostles, they died. So even poor people encourage themselves to be in poverty. What I'm showing you that everybody is really encouraged. But what is the courage? And where is the courage coming from? From which system? So King David said, I encourage myself. I encourage myself in the Lord. So King David is saying, I went inside of the Lord to find this encouragement. Wow. So I had to go inside of Christ's belly, his mind. I had to go inside of Christ's spirit. I had to go inside of Jesus's contemplations, his vision, his I had to go inside of tongues. I had to go inside of Jesus' planning system, his headquarters, to locate this encouragement. I didn't let myself find this encouragement from my feelings. Isn't this amazing? You shouldn't have had died. You shouldn't have had died. What part of the day did you get sad? You shouldn't have had died. Because your emotions is deciding your finances. You shouldn't have had died. Your feelings is the master of God's revealings. You shouldn't have had died. God reveals at the level of how you feel. You shouldn't have had died. Zacharias feels like Elizabeth can't get pregnant. The angel shuts his mouth. John is Zacharias, you shouldn't have had died. Because if, if you didn't let yourself get disconnected from faith or disconnected, if, if you didn't let your trust in God get delayed, separated, disconnected, you would have spoke what you were supposed to speak. Encouragement is a part of the equation for deliverance. God don't want to deliver you sad. And God don't want your joy predicated on the deliverance. He want your joy predicated on the deliverer. Because if you looking for deliverance to create your joy. That means when you're in a season of valleys. You're going to switch up on your servanthood, your obedience. You're, you're going to switch up on your excellence. You shouldn't have died. Saints, I want to say this to you. Who died the most on the cross between the three, Jesus and the two thieves? Who died the most? The thief that refused 
to humble himself towards King Jesus. <laughs> isn't it crazy that necklaces and all this stuff don't change how God talked to me? Isn't that funny? Huh? Isn't it funny that having all this don't change? Look, I got a polo and I hear God stronger. The thief that refused to humble himself and receive Jesus was the one that died the most. He experienced the greater death in the sense that his separation from God lasted more than three days. His separation from God, he's still in hell right now. Hear me, hear me, hear me. I'm not saying that Jesus' death was lower in the sense of effectiveness. I'm saying that his death was extensive. It never stopped. You will not leave my soul in Sheol, Psalm chapter 22. That's what King David prophesied about Jesus. That showed that the spirit of Jesus was moving through King David. Even before King Jesus had showed up. No wonder... King Jesus was called the son of David because David was considered a spiritual father, which shows you that whoever is prophesying to you, the word is your spiritual father. You shouldn't have had died. You would have had never got disconnected from prophet Joshua Holmes. You shouldn't have had died. If you don't have the finances that you, you really supposed to have, you shouldn't have died. There's places in your life where you were separated from listening to instructions. You shouldn't have died. Mm -hmm. If you're dying now, it'll produce your crying later. If you're already separated from God in your mind, will, and emotions, if you're not taking time to meditate on the word of God, boy, I got me some sexy Bibles. I got those Bibles that make your testosterone. Whoa, whoa. Just make you, just don't fight it. Don't fight. Don't fight. Got sexy Bibles. And my Bible got to look clean. It got to smell good. Just like a divine woman. <laughs> and the Bible is how you keep your mind refreshed. Alive and far from death. If you never become rich, my answer to you is this. You shouldn't have had died. If you die, you're never going to have the health. Because you're going to be separated from the mindset that health is attracted to. If you never have joy, you shouldn't have had died. Because joy is connected to feeding your emotions the truth that it needs. Go look at yourself in the mirror and, and, and grin for, for 15 seconds. And then while you're grinning, for six more seconds, say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> go go look at yourself even if you ain't got no teeth <sighs> God created makeup for you to discern ugly
<laughs> Flaws is a university for you to gather wisdom. And whatever irritates you, it unlocks you to search for solutions. When you're in pain, you seek Tylenol. When you're sick, you seek doctors. But see, for the wise, when you're on your way to hell, you seek prophets. A prophet is carrying your instructions that set you free. There's no life apart from your prophet. You can fake it till you make it. You can fake it till you make it. But the truth is you're never going to make it. Who you're connected to now is a foretaste of your eternity. Whoever's voice has more of an impact on you will determine your eternity. <laughs> 